throughout the 19th century and into the 20th century, perhaps up to World War I, cigars were the leading form of smoked tobacco. And um, cigar shops proliferated, cigar manufacturers proliferated throughout the United States, especially concentrated in the New York area, Pennsylvania. They would come in uh, cigar boxes and also with uh, uh, beautiful designs, wonderful names of cigars and cigar bands. And it became a, a huge, uh, uh, this became a huge area for collecting cigar bands uh, and cigar boxes. The one and only cigar box I have ever purchased for the collection uh, is one called uh, Liver Regulator. And clearly I, I got this because of the irony of something that's so detrimental to health uh, uh, being uh, touted as, as something that you would uh, have after smoking, that it was touted as something that would um, uh, cure indigestion, uh, take one after each meal, and uh, would help regulate your liver. I acquired this, uh, I think, the, the, at auction, and the price was about $250. Um, the, the tip was from a fellow named Tony Hyman, who is arguably the most passionate collector of cigar boxes in the world, and who has actually a national cigar museum in California. And um, this is just an example of the irony that we collect at the Center for the Study of Tobacco and Society.